All right, so here's our apartment. We got our keys from so a lockbox. Mm -hmm. We put a code in that the leasing office gave us. And then we got our keys, and we're gonna go in. Hi everybody! So we are already in Maryland and we have just arrived last night and we checked in temporarily here, here in, in the hotel and um, yeah so we drove from Georgia to Maryland for like 13 hours like that 13 hours um, with just very short stops in between. So we have um, rented a U-Haul truck wherein we have placed all of our things and also a trailer where we put our car on. We're almost finished uh, placing them inside the U-Haul truck. This is mom, dad, and Ginger. Hey. <laughs> Finished packing. We're about to put the car on the trail. Come on, come on, come on! Woo! Come on, come on! Come on! This is actually the most scary part I actually don't like to watch. Put your emergency on. Put your emergency on. Hi, everybody. Hello. So we're ready to go to Maryland. So we're leaving uh, here in Georgia, North Georgia. We'll take a back road up to get on the interstate, to get on the interstate a little bit north of Chattanooga to avoid some of the morning rush hour traffic. And then from there, we pretty much cruise up Tennessee through Virginia, and then we cross over uh, at Washington DC into actual Maryland and that's where we will uh, be getting off at once we get there. The town's called White Plains. It says it's 9 hours and 17 minutes, 618 miles. It'll probably take us in total uh, closer to 12 hours because we're limited by how fast we can go because we have a fully loaded U-Haul and we're towing the car. So we know that we'll make this drive in about two days, so we know we'll get a hotel later tonight. Um, but our goal is to be somewhere about two or three hours away from the apartment by the time that we stop. So that tomorrow morning we wake up, we can just mosey in and get there during normal business hours and, and check in to our new living accommodations. Hello everybody, just an update after of driving, we are already in the city of Knoxville. said it would take about nine hours it took us about 13 with some stops we couldn't go um, very fast the fastest we could really go was about 65 or so because we were towing and just with what little traffic we did encounter 
and with the little bit of rain that we got as we came through the DC area and then started our drive south into Maryland where we're at now in a town called Waldorf. Mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty easy driving. The U-Haul was uh, a lot easier to drive than I thought. Making the turns was a lot easier than I thought. Um, it was good. I felt really good about it. And now we're about to go outside and get our stuff together and head over to the apartment and begin the move-in process. Mm -hmm. I was actually asking him if we were supposed to like hire a driver or you know professional U-Haul truck driver but he said it will be okay if it will just be the two of us since it's commonly done by couples here so even though I was nervous about it you know I'm always nervous but if I was really nervous about traveling just the two of us I really enjoyed it and we were like sightseeing and um, just listening to music and watching some video clips from YouTube. So it was a fun travel with you. Mm -hmm. It was fun. I'm glad you were my co-pilot. <laughs> for the U-Haul, I would recommend uh, getting the insurance for it. Um, my total cost was about 770 some odd dollars. And of that, about $100 of that was incidental insurance. So that pretty much just covered like, if the vehicle broke down or if we got into an accident that wasn't our fault. Because we were towing our car and literally all of our belongings, I wanted to make sure that we had that. It was worth the peace of mind given how far we were uh, moving. And then um, as far as everything else with it, it was pretty low cost. It took about $65 in gas twice and I'll probably need to put in another ten dollars when I return it to get it to the level that it was at. Alright so here's our apartment. Okay here we go. Yay. It's, it feels warm here. I mean it, it feels nice because outside it's freezing cold for me. So this is our apartment. It looks nice. Yes, that's the kitchen area. Okay, that's where we came from. That's the entrance. And we're going to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's a bedroom. Here is the bedroom. So, since it's just me and Ned for now, we just rented um, a one-bedroom apartment, and this is closet. So there is the closet for me. There is the closet for Nick. His and hers closet. This is the bathroom. Pretty Very nice. nice bathroom. Wow. Mm -hmm. All ceilings. The tub and the shower. Alright. That's it. So we're now going to start unloading our things. And we're going to update you once we're done. So after a few days of sorting and organizing our things, we are now ready to show you our new home. Of course, we still need to buy a lot of furniture, but actually most of our things here are the ones we have gotten from our three wedding ceremonies. So yeah, join me. All right, so we start off with our kitchen area. So as what I've mentioned a while ago, most of our stuff here, especially the kitchen things, we have gotten from our three wedding ceremonies. So here, before getting to our kitchen area, we could see a door going to the washer and dryer. Yeah, so when we got here, we washed everything, all the towels and all the linens, the new ones in the old, so we needed to wash all of them. And so this is the kitchen area. We have the fridge and different 
equipments and kitchen stuff. Right, so beside that is our living room. This couch is actually we got from Nick's parents, my in-laws, and also this lampshades. Yeah, we still need to buy our own stuff. And we have our Christmas tree already. Yep, because when you have a Filipino wife, you just gotta have Christmas decorations early. Alright, so these are our pictures, of course. This was when we had our first wedding, our civil wedding, our second wedding here in the US, and our third wedding just last month, September 15. And next, military or marine stuff. This was when we had our first marine ball together last year. This was when we had our photo shoot with his different kinds of marine uniforms. The bulldog that he got me. The marine bear. Yeah. So again, these are our three weddings, our civil wedding in the Philippines on July 3, 2017, our church wedding here in the U.S., that's our second wedding, last September 15, 2019, and our third wedding, our Catholic wedding in the Philippines at the Manila Cathedral, just last month, September 15, 2020. Yep. So this was actually signed by our guests when we had our second wedding, church wedding here in the U.S. Little Santa Claus given by Nana Carolyn Page. So through this, through this door, you'll be able to go to the porch. We're in, but I'm not going there now because it's actually chilly. But you can see the mailboxes, it's just close to our unit, so that's good. Alright, after the living room, let's go to the, to the bedroom. So as you can see, we only have rented a one-bedroom apartment because it's just only me and Nick. So when Florence gets here, of course, we're going to have a two-bedroom apartment. And hopefully by that time we are already able to get our own house. So this is our bedroom. So actually we're planning to have this TV on the living room to transfer this. We just need to find a furniture um, to place it on the living room. So I told Nick to have that in the living room so that I'll have reasons to go there. <laughs> Okay, our closet, so this is my closet, and this is his closet. And then in this area, we have our shoes, and then we have um, the towels, and the blankets, and the linens here, and some of our bags. And now we're going to the bathroom. Let's just turn the lights on. So, of course, the tub. The shower, the toilet. Hi. And we're back to the living room. All right, that's it. So yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you on the next vlog. Bye.